All right, so it's where weird meets Western. The Rodeo Austin is riding again. The concerts, carnivals, and of course, rodeo events all start next weekend. And this morning, to spur on the excitement, the Cowboy Breakfast is kicking off this year's Rodeo Austin. So Chris Davis got the premium assignment this morning. He is down at the Long Center. How much have you eaten so far, Chris? Actually, not as much as you would think. I, I'm kind of like in shock right now. I don't know where to start. We're over here right now at the Pancakes. These guys have been out here since 5 o'clock this morning. We're at about an hour and a half now straight of making pancakes. And look at those delicious golden brown. And check out the line here. These crowds are pretty massive. These lines stretch throughout the entire uh, area here where uh, these booths are set up. And the, the CEO of Rodeo Austin, he tells me that uh, this year it seems like there are far more people here already. At, at 6 o'clock this morning, he says there were as many people here as there were last year at 7 o'clock. We've actually got the CEO with us here uh, right now. This is uh, Rob Golding, his second year with the rodeo now. And one of your main goals is to sort of weave the rodeo back into the fabric of Austin. What did you learn in your first round last year that you're bringing to the rodeo this year to help with that goal? Well, you know, uh, rodeo's been here since 1938, and then <clears throat> you get out here this morning and see the sky and everybody out for breakfast. It takes a lot of people to pull this off, and, and we're really proud to be part of Austin and what's going on down here at Cowboy Breakfast this morning. And you were telling me about the turnout. Is that an indication, the number of people that are here this morning, is that an indication that people are getting more involved with it and, and are more interested in coming out to the rodeo? I sure hope so. You know, you can't discount a free breakfast, but uh, <laughs> it, it really is great to see the crowd out here earlier than last year. It's a beautiful day, and I hope what people do is follow us from here out to Barbecue Austin and on to the rodeo March 10th. One of the other main goals that you had talked about was sort of revamping the Travis County Expo Center space. And plans were announced at the end of last year to do just that, to rebuild and, and to build uh, a bigger and more modern facility. How will that play into your goal of sort of modernizing and bringing the rodeo back to a central part of Austin culture? Well, you know, we moved out, the rodeo moved out to the Expo Center when it was brand new and built in the mid 80s and it's 40 year old facility that's really seen its prime and long past it. We're really excited about it. It gives us more capacity, opportunity to bring a lot more people out to rodeo and really engage it with the community at this point. And East Austin is obviously booming and we're excited to be part of it. All right, Rob Golding, CEO of Rodeo Austin, thank you so much Thanks, for being with us here this morning. The Cowboy Breakfast is going on here at the Long Center until 9 this morning. The rodeo itself starts next weekend. We'll send it back to you guys for now. I'm going to get some pancakes. Uh. Smart idea. Bring them back. Chris, I have to say I'm slightly disappointed because you had sent a message to me saying that this live hit here, you were just going to eat biscuits and gravy and stare into the camera awkwardly. So I was kind of hoping for that. Yeah, I actually I, uh, I ate all of them already. So <laughs> I do that. It's too bad. It's Chris, bad. thank you very much. She probably ate all of yours, too. I know. Yeah, I have a feeling we're not going to get anything back uh, at the station later. Might be cold by the time we get there anyways. <laughs> That's true.